I'm Baseball Betsy. And I'm Baseball Ross. And this is Philly Philly's Spring, Spring Training. Training. Welcome to Baseball Betsy and Baseball Ross. Today we'll be talking about the first and second days of Phillies minor league spring training. Today was an important day even though it was the second day of camp because the first spring training work groups were released today. These lists will eventually be the, t the rosters for the teams this season. Usually there are five columns in the list, currently there's only four. The first column on the left would be Lehigh Valley, the second, Redding, third, Clearwater, fourth, Lakewood, and the fifth column, which has yet to fill in, will be the Williamsport and Gulf Coast League team. Right now, a lot of the players are up at the Major League camp. So once they start returning from Major League camp, as the rosters are reduced, players will generally slide from the left to the right to fill in that final column. If they're not moved to the final column, they will give, be given their outright release. I have a copy of this work group list on my blog. I'll include a link to the blog in the description below. I think one of the key players for the Phillies this year in their minor league organization will be for, former first round draft pick Cornelius Randolph. He looks like he's ticketed for Clearwater and uh, we talked with him briefly today after his uh, his batting practice. Also of note, Randolph has switched from contacts to some rather impressive glasses. Randolph was joined in the batters group uh, by Jose Pujols and Giandito Trump. When we saw them get ready for their BP, we all headed to, to see them. Uh, these uh, these three uh, likely will make up the outfield of the Clearwater Threshers, of which Baseball Betsy and I have season tickets, and we look forward to seeing them uh, start the, the new season in about a month from this week. We saw some impressive long ball power by Pujols and Trump. They were third and fourth in the entire Philly system in minor league home runs. Uh, Pujols led all of Class A in home runs with 23 with Lakewood last year, and Trump hit 23 equally divided between Clearwater and Lakewood. Trump is one of my favorites. He's a five-tool player. He can hit, hit with power, run, throw, and field, and I'm very anxious to see him get a full season uh, in, uh, in Clearwater or perhaps earn a promotion to, to Reading later in the season. We also got to watch Mickey Moniak, last year's number one overall draft pick, take batting practice today. Moniac's been hitting rather well and he's been practicing with the group three list, which is Lakewood. Franklin Colomi here is warming up. Uh, no, that that's not a catcher in the picture. That's uh, Edgar Garcia, who probably will be a setup man for the Threshers. I joked with uh, Franklin and said, I hope he's the opening day starter for the Clearwater Threshers this season. Jeff Singer has spent some time in the bullpen for the Major League team. However, he has not yet gotten into a game. Today, he's currently listed in the Group 1, or Lehigh Valley, slot. Earlier this week, Singer was featured in a Matt Brain article on philly.com. I'll include a link to the article in the description below. We're excited to see the likely Thresher starting rotation headed up by Franklin uh, Killame. He'll be joined here by Sir Anthony Dominguez that we watched pitch today or taking fielding uh, practice today on the backfields. Uh, also joining them will be Jose Tavares and Alberto Torado, who's still up with the Phillies in the Major League camp. Another uh, pitcher that uh, I was impressed by in Instructs and uh, could be taking over the closer role for the Clearwater Threshers this year will be Grant Dyer. Dyer was very impressive in instructs and in fact struck out the last two Yankees to end the instruct season uh, in back in uh, in October. I just wanted to say 
that it's important to take these work group lists with a grain of salt. These, these rosters are very fluid at this point, and especially once players start to be sent down from the Major League camp, basically everybody that's on the left will be slowly moving to the right. There may be a few exceptions. There may be a few guys who actually go left instead of right. But for, for the most part, most of the players will be shifting over. So most of the players that are on the what is now the Lehigh Valley team will actually be sliding over to the to one column to the right, which is Redding and so forth. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, click the subscribe button so you can be notified when we have new videos.